They get here at five and they stay here till nine. They like drinking coffee and staying out late. Who cares if they don't have jobs or dates? They're hanging out at the coffee bean. The main reason I'm really trying to uh, finish this this play yeah. about Nazi Germany uh -huh. is that. I met the secretary at CAA, who is friends with one of the assistants. Uh -huh. Invite out the industry. Tell him about me. Um, I mentioned you briefly, but I was just trying to really talk about this play. Yeah, I need an agent. I know James had a good agent. He was based out of Temecula, and he was mostly focusing on industrial commercials that he was getting James into. But the problem was he was eaten alive by dogs. When I found out that my agent was eaten by dogs, I felt horrible. I mean, it's pilot season. I told you I would hook you up with my agent, but he only represents child actors, and right now I can still get in for 13, 14 year old roles. So can I. No, you can't. You yes, have I a mustache. Can. I can shave. You have a mustache. I can shave. Man. What's you're a razor for, Dan? You're 16. What's a razor for? You can't go in for the 13 year old roles. I have an agent, Harry Anderson. He's a magician slash actor. He was on the popular series Night Court. The thing with Harry is I'm in his um, child category. I'm 25. But most people ask me if I'm 17, I say, no, I'm 15. Hey, Cindy, it's uh, Dan. Tell him actor, writer, producer, editor, Levy. singer, musician. Is, uh, is Harry around? My writing partner, uh, James. Um, Kirkland. Kirkland. Um, a terrorist his, his on eight, Sleeper Cell? He played a terrorist in Sleeper Cell. Um, anyways, he's looking for an agent, and uh, I know I you guys are, are working well. It's only got eight. dropped. He died. How tall are you? 6'4". He's a 6'4". I want to know if you can if you can play a 13 year old. Yes. All right, talk to you later. What do you say? 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 He said he's gonna call back in five minutes and let and let me know to let you know if uh, if they're gonna send you in for a lifetime project, mm -hmm. playing a 14 year old kid who has Down syndrome who was raped. Dude. I know. That's awesome. I know. It's my life story. I know. It's 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 the part you're born to play. I play someone with Down syndrome, but I like to call it up syndrome. You know what I mean? Like up with people. So, uh, people are going to be like, are you just playing a retard? No. I'm playing a person who happens to be retarded. Harry, I'm going to give you to James. Give it to me. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you hooking up my buddy. Okay. Hold on. Harry. Harry. It's James. Kirkland. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be with her. I know, it's a tragedy. No one can see that coming. So what's the deal with uh, today? What's up? Can I give you a taste of what I would do with it? I'm a person. I'm a person. I'm a person. I don't know what the lines are. That's how we do it in H-Town Biz. Are you with me? Oh, I gotta take this. It's my agent. I can't believe you got the This is the role of your lifetime. A retarded I'm good, yeah. kid. I'm good, yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I don't want. I don't want to. I remember. I'm, I'm just saying. Don't jinx me. I don't want to jinx you. I'm saying. I'm just saying. Don't jinx me. I'm just saying I'm that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that next year at the Emmys, when you get an Emmy for playing a retarded 14-year-old, I better be on that thank you list. I'm just saying you will be. All right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you got chocolate on my hand. Next week on Coffee Bean Guys, James and Dan brainstorm TV show ideas. The idea is a reality show about chairs. America's best racist, figure skating. Let's do something with boobs. Looking for the best cleavage in America. American cleavage. I love it, but let me up you. Okay. Pussy Patrol. Oh, it's racy, I like it. Just a bunch of pussies. We're gonna Disney it up. It's gonna be a Disney-fied sci-fi rom-com thriller.